Hi guys, joining me on your mats, we're going to be taking our knees out wide, our big toes to touch and we're going to start lowering our chest, chin and forehead down to the ground and taking our arms out as long and wide as we can and meeting me in a nice comfortable wide-legged child's pose. So we're going to start softening and taking some gentle relaxing breaths here just to work on the practice and find some ease within our bodies. Thanking yourself for coming today and giving yourself this time that's just for you, nobody else and then softening. So as you're lying there, maybe setting yourself an intention for your practice. Anything at all that feels good and right for you today. And then just holding that thought with you throughout the practice and considering it's already done. And just softening and breathing. So now as you're lying here, you may want to start thinking about rocking that forehead from right to left so you can start massaging on that brow bone space and just finding some space in this area, releasing any tensions. We often hold our tensions in this place. So just softening. And then when we're ready, we're gonna inhale and start lifting the chest up. I'm gonna be going for a nice twisting posture. So what we're going to do is we're going to inhale and swim our left arm up and open towards the sky and then we're going to exhale and take that left arm under the right armpit trying to twist so we can come round on towards our ear and shoulder space but if the body wants to stay up slightly higher that's absolutely fine be nice and kind and gentle to yourself here and then just softening and taking some gentle relaxing easing breaths just calmly, just finding that space and relaxing, slowly letting the body open and just softening and then when we're ready we're going to inhale swim the arm back up towards the sky and then exhale to take the hand back down preparing for the right side so we're going to inhale and swim our right arm up and open this time and then exhale to take that right arm down under that left armpit twisting to come onto that right ear and shoulder again or maybe we're slightly higher up in the air and just softening and relaxing there wherever our body is today that's exactly where we're meant to be so being kind and gentle to yourself and just softening and again relaxing taking this moment just for you there's no rush and then when we're ready inhale and swim that right arm back up and open and then exhale to, to return that hand back down towards the ground and then softening just for a moment and then we're going to start inhaling and preparing to lift our bodies back up and we're going to come to sit on our knees and our heels taking that bottom back up towards our heel space i'm just going to move around here lovely softening in from here we're preparing to go through some breathing exercises together so what we're going to do is we're going to inhale, take our arms out to the side and we're going to gather our arms up to the ceiling, taking a nice big inhale and then exhale, taking those hands down in front of our chest really slowly. And then once again, we're going to inhale, take those arms out towards the side, gather that breath up towards the ceiling, hands do a prayer and then exhale down in front of our chest really slowly. And then one final time, we're going to inhale, take those arms out to the sky, up towards the ceiling, hands to a prayer, and then this time gaze up, and then exhale, take that thumb down, so the thumb can place it between the eyebrow space, and then exhale to bring the head down, hands down in front of the chest. Taking a moment there, bowing the head down, and maybe sending out some prayers, some love, anything that feels good for you, maybe saying a prayer for yourself and then
then exhaling down to release. Wonderful. So now from here, we're going to start going through some gentle neck circles. So we're going to take our chin down to our chest and start circling the head round either to the right or left to begin with, whichever feels best for you. So now here, you need to be nice and careful with your neck. So if anyone has any neck issues, take these circles a little smaller or don't do them at all. And then making sure we're reversing that circle, being gentle and slow and kind, easing out, really feeling into the body and then just rocking gently from side to side to prepare to come back up and release. Beautiful, coming back to neutral. So now from here we're going to be taking a nice twist in posture. So we're going to take our left hand up, place it behind our right knee on the outer thigh, inhale to lengthen up and then exhale and twist one to the right, right hand down to the ground and then just gaze in towards the right. Just being soft and gentle, and then again, really softening and enjoying those breaths here. Taking a moment, easing in, and then exhale, release. Bringing the right hand behind the left knee this time on the outer thigh, inhale, lengthen, and then exhale, twist to the left, hand to the ground, and then gazing towards that left side and just taking a few breaths there. And then exhale into release to come back around. Lovely. So now we're going to start checking in with those shoulders. So when we're anxious, we often hold our shoulders up towards our ears. We want to bring lots of space into this area. So what we're going to do is we're just going to gently be inhaling to lift those shoulders up and then exhaling to relax them down the back. And then once again, we're going to inhale, lift those shoulders up, exhaling them down the back. And then again, inhale, lift those shoulders up. And then exhaling down the back, just easing out, moving out through that body. So now from here, we're going to be coming round into a nice all fours position. So take your time getting there. The knees are coming, going to come to hip width distance and the hands underneath the shoulders. And from here, we're going to be moving through some cat cows. So we're going to inhale and drop our belly and take our gaze up. And then we're going to exhale to round our spine back up. And then inhale, dropping that belly and taking the gaze up. And then exhaling, rounding the spine up towards the sky. And then again, inhaling to drop that belly and take our gaze up, tailbone up. And then exhaling to round through that spine, easing out any sticky areas. And then inhaling to drop that belly. Exhaling to round the spine up towards the sky. And just easing out. So then from there, we're going to come into a nice toe stretch. So we're going to tuck our toes under. We're going to start bumping our hips back towards our heels, straighten our arms out in front of us, and then just pushing back on those toes and rocking from side to side. And then just really enjoy that really nice, deep, intense stretch on the toes. So it's okay to go intense in this area. It's actually quite nice. And then inhale, bring the body back up. And then from there, we're going to be lowering our body down to the ground. So rocking the body forward, keeping those elbows hooked into the side body, bending the elbows, and then just taking that whole body down towards the ground. From here, we're going to be taking a nice baby cobra. So keeping our hands next to the shoulders, we're going to inhale and start pushing through those hands to lift the upper part of the chest and chin up, keeping the elbows bent, and then just gazing forward. And then exhale into release, we're going to be taking a nice full cobra. So this time we're going to inhale and we're going to be pushing through our hands again and trying to straighten through those arms while lifting that upper half of the body up and keeping those shoulders relaxed. Chest shines up, gazing forward and then taking a nice breath there. Feel free to separate the feet if the back has any pain. And then exhale, starting to pick those hips up, moving through that body, making it your own. Getting into the body and the side body and through that spine. And then from there, we're coming through at our first downward facing dog. So taking those hands out slightly further in front, tucking the toes, then inhale to peel those hips up to the sky. And walking that dog one foot and then the other. Easing out, really getting into that spine, just making this your own 
not worrying about how it's looking, just making it feel nice and good for you. Rocking from side to side and then we're going to start walking one foot in front of the other really slowly and walking up to a nice forward fold at the top of our mat. A really nice fold, easing into that spine once again, just making it your own, bending in your knees as much as feels good, just to make it soft. Bending those elbows and grabbing onto each elbow and just adding a bit of extra weight here. Maybe taking some rocks, just making it your own. And then we're going to release those hands and swish from side to side. And then eventually we're going to place our hands on one side and just find a nice stretch there. Easy out. And then taking our hands round to the other side and once again just easing out there too. Being gentle and soft and kind. Coming back around to neutral and then really slowly we're going to curve that spine vertebra by vertebra and start bringing the body up to standing. Releasing the head, just easing out through those shoulders again. Softening through. Taking a moment there to collect ourselves. Gathering that breath, easing back out through that neck maybe. And then when we're ready, we're going to inhale, take those arms up towards the sky. And then exhale into a nice forward fold once again. And then from there, we're going to be planting our hands and we're going to inhale and take our left leg back into a nice low plank position, dropping that back knee down, checking in with our front knee to make sure it's over our ankle space and then tucking those back toes out flat. Either coming onto our fingertips or coming onto the palms of the hands to find a long spine and gaze forward, double checking that knee's over our ankle space and then just relaxing with some breaths there. Just enjoying this moment, enjoying this stretch. And then from there, tucking those back toes, we're going to take that back foot to meet the front, back into a nice forward fold at the top of that mat. Taking a moment, and then inhaling, taking those arms up towards the sky, and then exhaling back into that nice forward fold, rain it down really slowly. Taking a moment and then inhaling, planting the hands and preparing to come to the right side this time. Taking those right toes back, dropping the knee down, finding your alignment, tucking the back toes out flat, checking that front knees over front ankle, either then coming onto those fingertips, working down onto those hands to find a long spine and gaze forward and take some nice breaths there. Just taking a moment again, finding this nice stretch opening through the body and enjoying those breaths and then inhale pick up that back knee tuck the back toes back toes to meet the front into a forward fold long spine and then inhale bring that body back up stretching up and then exhale to rain it back down into that forward fold once again just easing out and then this time planting the hands, inhale, take those left toes back again. This time we're gonna keep that back knee up and just find a nice stretch. So again, checking that knee, that front knee is over front ankle, maybe rocking backwards and forwards on those toes, long spine and on the fingertips and just find a nice stretch. Runner's lunge. Taking some breaths. And then once again, we're going to rock on that back foot so the back foot can meet the front back into a nice forward fold. Inhale, and we're going to sweep those arms back up towards the sky. And then exhale, return into that forward fold, rain it down. Preparing for the, the runner's lunge on the right side this time. So inhale, and planting those hands, taking the right leg back, keeping that back knee up, finding your alignment. Checking that front knees over the front ankle. Maybe rocking a little bit from back to front on those toes. And then finding that long spine either on the fingertips or on the palms of the hands. 
and just taking some breaths there, easing out and then when we're ready we're going to start picking up that back knee, taking that back foot to meet the front back into that forward fold, inhaling, bringing those arms back up, gathering the breath up, hands to a prayer and then exhaling down in front of our chest. Wonderful. So then from there, we're going to step our feet slightly wider than hip width distance apart. And we're going to be taking our toes out to either direction. And we're going to be coming into a nice yogi squat or a garland pose. So to do this, we're going to be inhaling, taking our arms out to the side and gathering the hands into a prayer position. And then on the exhale, we'll start dropping our bottom down towards the ground trying to let the knees splay out over the toes, releasing down and coming down nice and low. But we may get to so far and that's enough for us. So we can take our arms out in front of us, place the hands on the ground and find a long spine. Or if it's feeling good and available for you today, you can continue that bottom down to the ground, maybe coming up off the toes, up, on, up off the heels and on the toes to find a nice stretch, taking those hands down. Maybe the heels come down to the ground, maybe you want to rock from side to side moving from one foot and then the other it's actually really nice to do this just to ease out through that body and just waking up through those feet and making it your own just finding some space beautiful so eventually you may decide to come to some stillness no matter where you are you can find stillness there so maybe you're up high maybe you're on the toes with the heels up or maybe the heels are down to the ground the hands can come back to a prayer position or they can be resting on the ground in front of you. And then the backs of the arms can rest on the inside of the legs if we're in the prayer position. Just taking a few breaths there in stillness with a long spine. Eventually, we'll start to bow the head down so the fingertips can touch between the brow space and then we'll release those hands and take those arms behind our back. Straighten out those legs long we're going to make our way down onto our backs. So we're going to take our legs our arms out long in front of us, into the fingers, index finger is going to come out long, and then just activating that core and bring that body down to the ground in your own time. Releasing the hands, we're going to bring those knees in towards the stomach and chest area. Either taking our arms behind the back of the thighs or in front of the shins and just hugging in and finding some ease, rocking from side to side. Really taking your time here. I'm just going to shuffle forward, so staying there in that position. Rocking nice from side to side. Easing out. Working that body. Being gentle. And then from there, we're going to gently open the knees out to either side. We're going to straighten the lower half of the legs and activate the feet. We're going to take our arms on the inside of the legs, either grabbing onto the shins the ankle or maybe the outside of the feet, bringing those knees out to either side and then we're finding ourselves in a nice happy baby pose. We're just going to rock from side to side if that feels good. You may choose to find stillness here, wherever feels the best and nicest for you and you're getting the best stretch. Or maybe when you're rocking from side to side you're going to straight in one leg out and then the other, just making this your own once again. Really feeling into that body. And then eventually we'll release. I'm going to take those legs back down to the ground, keeping the knees bent. We're going to come into a nice butterfly pose. So reclining butterfly. So we're going to allow our knees to drop out to either side. The soles of the feet are going to come together. I'm going to take those arms out to either side with the palms facing upwards. We're just going to soften in with some breaths here taking some gentle relaxing breaths to prepare us to come to a nice finishing as we're lying there just honoring those anxieties anything that's coming up just allowing and accepting them knowing that they're all welcomed and all valuable all teaching us something just relaxing and then eventually bringing those knees back up. We're going to straighten those legs out long. Allow the toes to fall out to either side. Taking one hand to rest on the lower belly. And one hand to rest on the chest. 
we're going to start taking some gentle deep breaths here and as we do try and take that breath right down to that lower belly and feel the belly rise up the chest and feeling that rise too and then just slowly letting it exhale back out and let the hands lower down and then again you'll be inhaling and allowing that breath to go right down to that lower belly filling right up spilling up as much as we can and exhaling back out nice and slowly so we encourage you to stay here for as long as time allows enjoying those breaths just taking a moment just for yourself softening relaxing being grateful knowing that you can return to this feeling at any time just by connecting with that breath thank you very much and namaste